All right, and we're back. Uh, I think it's been first video in like, what, three weeks probably? Um, yeah, welcome back. We're gonna get back to regular YouTube videos. I just wanna go over today, kind of a little bit update on you know, my life, the, the weight loss that I've been doing. I think I didn't post on Instagram for like probably seven or eight days, which is like a, probably a record for me over the last few years. Um, just an update on what's been going on. I took a diet break after a pretty intense period of pretty intense attempt uh, at losing some pretty weight pretty quickly. After a period of about four months where I dropped something like 15-ish pounds would probably be the safe, the safe bet to say. So um, I got my weight down to, uh, I think it's still on the board, 90, 193, 194 was probably around the lowest I had. I am back to, um, the last three weigh-ins were 197 on day one, 198.6, and then today 196.8. So settling in somewhere, I bet this week the average is probably going to be about 196, 197. I think that's important for people to hear. When you come back from vacation or something, don't really take the first weigh-in too seriously, regardless of what it says. Usually it's not too bad, but if you're up like four pounds, let that play out because you probably didn't gain four pounds. You like, you probably know it if you gained four pounds. You like that'd be pretty gluttonous. Uh, if that is even a word. But but basically, yeah, I had a uh, I had a bachelor party. I, I stopped the diet early because I knew I had a crazy three weeks coming up, and I didn't want to go into that on an empty stomach because that's just a recipe for disaster. You end up in an environment where everyone's eating, drinking pizza, like that type of stuff, and you've been dieting hard it might result in disaster. And I know myself in that that's probably would have way the way worked for me if I went in on, you know, 1500 calories uh, a day, uh, I'd probably end up just like eating like a buffoon for that entire bachelor party weekend, which played out just fine. So it ended up fine. I added like two pounds over the last few weeks, the bachelor party, I went home, which is usually a bit more challenging because I'm not in control of the food there as much. I went home to my parents' place because it was on the way home to Toronto, so I stayed there for a few days. And then a week a week later, no, actually a few days later, I, uh, I was in Europe, uh, just got back on Saturday, so a few days ago. Um, today is Wednesday. And that was just basically eating out for every meal, sharing a bottle of wine with my brother, basically almost every meal. Uh, not every meal, but... The, the night meals, beers here and there, like patio drinks, like that type of stuff. It was just like, like the one thing we didn't do was there was no snacking, which I think holds things. I think that's an important thing for people to realize when you're traveling. Um, a lot of times people get into more trouble while they're home because they snack during the day, they get potato chips and that type of stuff. Whereas on the road, in a lot of cases in these trips where they go to weekend trips to like, you know, whether it's like New York City or you're like, you're, you're in Europe or something, a lot of times the calories don't run nearly as high as you think because you're actually just having set meals. And then like those probably aren't a big deal at all. And a lot of times like in Europe, they just don't make them the way that like, you know, Applebee's or like Eastside Mario's or something would where like the meals are just huge and like the calories are like stuffed with butter and oil. So it wasn't that bad, but the extra calories I did get were probably just from like, you know, consistent amount of liquid calories and alcohol which I was fine with. Like if I ended up that period with two to three pounds of, of fat gain, I was totally happy with that. And that's not all fat. However, the other thing you gotta realize is I got one workout in over the last two weeks. And the only workout I fit in was downstairs in my condo gym right before I left for, for Europe. So like that was just like, okay, I should get something in. So a little bit of muscle loss over the last few weeks, a little bit of, a little bit of weight gain but that muscle that I lost will come right back and then that weight is going to come off within a week or two. So I'm not too big, not not too worried about it. I'm going to set my calories somewhere around 22, 2300 and I've actually completely changed the way that I'm going to do my nutrition uh be a little bit more organized about it. The reality is the last 4 months have been crazy busy and spending more time with this guy so been all, like but on a schedule where I'm doing basically more appointments and more set schedule and working around someone else's time as well and just dealing with all that being new on top of just, you know, a higher workload and that type of thing. So the past four months has been pretty chaotic and I was tossing in a lot more than I needed to. So it's been pretty crazy and I wanted to simplify some things. And the reality was what happened was I was eating out a lot. I was going to freshie down the road uh, for convenience and spending more on lunch than I wanted to. 
I bought a crock pot yesterday off Kijiji, or for, for anyone outside of Canada, Kijiji is like Craigslist basically. So I got a crock pot, I've got an omelet pan coming. Uh, I'm probably gonna be doing more meal prep for my lunches in terms of like soups and chilies at the crock pot. Um, and I'll probably be uh, filming some of that stuff as well. But just wanted to get more organized. There's a lot of meat and fish in my freezer right now from ButcherBox, and that's not a plug. They're not paying me to say that. There's just a meat and fish delivery service, which is useful in trying out. But just getting more organized for making more meals at home, being on the move less, compartmentalizing my time better, and also just getting serious about my workouts. So previously I was working out like, like three times a week was good. The next four months I want to get dialed in in terms of just like really not missing workouts and really like taking like taking the next 16 weeks really, really seriously and getting some good work in there, um, dropping more weight. I'm probably going to take my weight down to 180, 185. You heard it here first. So expect that by when's four months from now, like September or something. So aiming for something like that. I've got this little list of things I wanted to talk about. Plans for that. Uh, I'm going to be cutting down on drinking, so I think like the casual drinks are probably going to be out. That's par par partially just like a money thing, but also partly just like a, they just really aren't like adding much to my life. I've got a wedding to go to in about four weeks, so that'll like, I'll, in an open bar, I'll probably drink at that. But but for the most part, I want to cut that out. And, and yeah, just some more on like the weight gain over the last three weeks. Like I think people need to get really like contextual about what is okay and what isn't. And like for me, I knew the like, like I took a break partly because I like, if I didn't take a break for the last three weeks, like it was going to be forced upon me because I wasn't going to go to this bachelor party and not, not drink and not enjoy myself the way like you've ended up in situations where everyone else is doing it. The, the idea that you're going to be the different one in a lot of these cases is just like, you might think you can do it, but you continue to realize that it's not going to happen. So I went into this accepting that I was probably going to gain a few pounds and I was okay with it because the way my life was the last three weeks was just like not indicative of the way it usually is. So getting back on track and getting back to normal and eating vegetables and all that stuff is just like, like what was going to happen. So I wasn't too worried about it. And I think people really like let that stuff discourage them to the point that they get back and they don't even keep going. Like they've kind of just like the fuck it mentality sits in, they're demotivated, discouraged. And I think that discouragement comes from a discrepancy between your actions and your expectations. And so for me, my actions over the last three weeks mapped towards an expectation of hopefully gaining two or three pounds. If I came back and I added five or six, that would be discouraging because I felt the way I ate was probably not gonna have that happen. But had I came back with the hope that I wouldn't gain any weight or even, even worse, thinking that like somehow I was gonna lose weight over the last three weeks because somehow that fit my timeline better, that would be a discrepancy between your actions, what you did and what you wanted to do and your expectations. And I think that's like the root of a lot of discouragement with people is when they make a mistake or they go off their plan they don't acknowledge it as something that they just kind of chose to do and they, they, they didn't accept the repercussions of what they did and handle that with a more solutions mindset or, or a more like just an acceptance mindset like I am, like that was okay. They come at it more from a shameful, I'm failing mindset where now their timeline that they set that probably wasn't realistic for the amount they wanted to commit to it anyway, which is totally okay. But that stuff has to kind of be a little bit more congruent so that when you get back, you were like, like when I saw 197 on the scale the first day back, I was like, sweet. Like that was not that bad. Like I, I did, like I drank, um, like I drank casual beers and shared a bottle of wine on a very consistent basis over the last seven days. And I think what people need to realize, what you need to realize is like these little short spurts aren't that big of a deal. It's how you react to them. Cause if you react to them poorly, seven days, uh, 14 days, 21 days turns into three months and that's when damage can occur. Some people can do some damage in short periods of time and you, if you're that person, like there's a lot to talk about there in terms of just like not going to the extremes and finding the middle ground more, but most people don't do that and especially on vacations to Europe and little weekend trips. Most people are more prone to just holding still and stalling progress for a little bit. If it's a little bit more lengthy, like what I did, like a lot of people will gain one or two pounds back oftentimes. But as long as you go into it with the mindset, they'll continue right away. 
it's really not that big of a deal and you've got to value the progress that you've made, which if you, like the way I see it, I gained two pounds back, but over the last four months I dropped 15. So net, I'm at 13 pounds lost, let's say. Uh, most people would be more focused on the fact that they gained two pounds rather than where they are in total. And seeing that I'm down and valuing that, uh, which is pretty second nature to me at that point, at this point, is where you got to keep your head at. So I think that's all I wanted to talk about today. Expect, uh, expect me to get a little bit more dialed in. We'll be taking some pictures, taking you along for the ride, and uh, obviously more content coming here. I hope you've been enjoying it. If you like it, uh, subscribe, uh, hit like and all that stuff, and uh, we'll be back for more. But just wanted to send you an update and let you know where I'm at. And uh, that's about it.